Oh no. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, um... Here. Alright, so... I guess I'm gonna start with this. Turn... Turn on. Yes. Quick... Quick background. Alright, good luck getting food. Sub syrup. Anyway, uh, so quick background for this this whole thing. I, this is my my greatest losses this match year, because uh, when I came into Philadelphia, I was talking hella shit. I was I was talking so much shit when I first came into Philly, and I was like, yeah, I'm the best. I can make anybody the best. And then TMG comes up, and I was like, yeah, I know my school's fucking new, but I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm the best, and I'm here now. And even those in my mere presence shall now also be the best. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get my school ready. I don't care how dominant you pen has been. And we're going to fuck y'all in the ass. It's going to be great. Like, fuck you guys. And uh, I was ready to win the shit out of this. Um, so, like, for, first of all... Um, Something important about crew battles, right? You have to think about who you're sending in first. I always think it's safest to send in a fox first. The fox I sent in first, Edward, uh, he lived in my dorm, like, right downstairs. So we played, like, till, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, mad days. I'd have to wake up groggy for class later. So, like, you know, I had, I had some faith in the guy. He was probably the second best at Temple at the time, aside from myself. Um, and then, like... He he really didn't have peach experience, so this is when this is when bitch pudding really started to take hold because I was like, I gotta get all my niggas ready for the peaches here. They have like three peaches on their team or some shit, like like U Penn has so many peaches they can send in. I I need us to be ready. So I was just like playing peach against them. I was like, because they were all terrible in their matchups. So I was just like, all right. like Ed, and um, the other person I was trying to get ready for it was. Three spoon, um, a puff, puff, peach, pretty easy, like, matchup. So, they were both terrible at the matchup, but they were starting to make a little bit of tiny strides versus my peach, which at the time, my peach is better than Vincent's peach. I don't give a fuck what that fucking loser says. My peach is the best. Best peach Philly's ever seen. You know what I'm saying? And we don't count BMC because he's from Delaware, so, uh Best Peach. Um, so yeah, let's let's just get into it first. Um, Ed, very little experience for his Peach, and they sent in Jin, who's this? He's like they're they're a good Peach, you know whatever. Yeah. My little, I had a Ragsdale at that time. Fucking disgusting. Nothing but regrets. I like this sweater still though. Really good sweater. Oh. So he just comes in with a fair. He's the standing laser. Terrible. I called the three stock in his favor. I was so foolish back then. Jesus Christ. He's very down smash heavy. Like he's extremely down smash heavy. Look at that. Well, it's like the first thing I noticed. That's a dead fox. Yeah, Jen was a very down smash heavy. Oh yes. Dead fox. Three stock. Dude, we're not like I'm not even worried. To be frank. This is the land of dreams where all your funding dreams come true. I really like. He didn't have a lot of faith in his real connecting there. I feel like he did uh, the China backed off just just to be safe. Yeah, 
How do they end up on Dreamland? Well, that, yeah, that makes sense actually. He's just like double jumping around him and Jen's like waiting it out super hard. So he's just hitting him when he finally actually comes down. It's basically just timing his down smashes. It was very close. Last, last stop, high percent. I wish I watched it, but I was so, getting the hand warm. Man, I didn't even need to warm up. That's I hate crew battles. I don't even think I need to go into them. <laughs> you don't play a real character. Three stop. I'm so sad watching this. This is, this is terrible for me. No, I took the one side. And then the rest of the crew. Alright, that was pretty good. Don't trade. See, scared. Look at that. Actually, let me, let me start being better about this. Hmm. So, like, what I like to do in this situation here, so I have him right here, I'll, like, wave dash back twice, so I'm, like, right here. And, uh, if the peach comes in floating right here like that, then I'll either, I, I'll, like, decide in the moment, like a lot, a lot of times you have to make a decision in a moment, and it's and like those are the kind of decisions you want to be the 50-50 situations. So, like right here, I'm standing here, and it's like I know I know one of these two things. Like I can just stand here and I can up tilt if he tries to come down with a fair, and if he's staying up there, I can back air him like really quickly. So. Like, in this situation, more often than not, I'm going to do the double jump back air. But, you know, sometimes I'll do the up tilt because I think someone at Jin's level is more likely to just stay up there. Jin being, like, low mid-level player. No disrespect or anything like that. Just, if you got to throw people in buckets. Man, man, screw that. Weak bear, what was that? <sighs> oh, come on. Four throw. That was two. No way. Lunge in. Yes, it's over. Three stop. So like, uh, thinking like strategically, right? Like in crew battle, or whatever. I had thrown in Ed first, and my thought process was like, you know, Fox, whatever. Um, even he, he like might lose, but at least I will have um, like if he ends up going against one of the peaches, which was very highly likely. Um, even if he does lose, I still would have um, three spoon, who's a puff. So it's like, all right, like. Even if he lost, whatever. So I'm like, all right, now I can send in three spoon, the puff. But he's he was terrible at the matchup. Like it, it was. I was working with a short stack. Here a little bit. The, he would have been like, you know, if we had like, like, two spaces to fight or something, like three spaces on this team. Oh, cash money. My team, I could have thrown me in first. I could have taken out everybody. 
and I, we would have just been left with the with the non floaties. <sighs> Beautiful world. Anyway, my thought process here is like, all right, he's gonna. At, like, like he's gonna win. I thought he was just gonna win. Like flat out, I'm like this matchup, Puff should be winning this. Especially, I feel like that could have been a rest. Objective truths. Can you hear me? I, I knew back then. I still I still agree with like nineteen. I still agree with nineteen year old Eric. This should have worked out. I really should not have it. Dude, this is, it's really hard to do an analysis of this, but uh, I'll definitely keep watching it. <laughs> Go back a bit. Yeah, that was good. You have to DI uh, Peach's down throw behind her. I feel like he could have DI'd it better, but whatever. Like, it's still the proper direction to be going in. Lots of people don't know that. Um, he was like. He's basically just doing like short hop aerial, right? Like, come in, short hop aerial. You have to like pull back. Like, you gotta, gotta get out of there. I wish you got that last stock too, Ed. That was a really good, like, shark up air, like. Make sure he backers him here. And now he's just, like, staying at the same height as him, like, really making him scared. Then when he finally comes down, it's like the shark up air. Don't don't expect pearls out of me on this matchup. This is peach puff. I don't know. I feel like he came in way too much there. He needed to. He still needs to just be like walling him out with bears. He's like, like these are the kind of mix-ups that work on boxes that are unprepared more than. This will ever work on Peach. I feel like that was good advice for the time. I don't know how, how valid that is anymore. It's like lots of the combos Peach gets, especially closer to kill percents, are off of like hit confirm turnip. Alright, so Dan gets two stocks. That's something, right? Oh, 
That was a solid roll. See, like, he's just, like, only doing down smash here pretty much. If Dan was doing higher back airs that weren't, like, like, get grounded right afterwards, like, just, like, the, the he needed more verticality. <sighs> so here, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm like, fuck. All right, I was really hoping the two of them could at least take out one peach. So I'm like, all right. I have Bad, who's a Falco. Um, he's pretty good. Um, like I thought, Dan was like pretty good, but against everybody at Temple specifically. Um, I don't know how well he would have fared against a like Peach, because um, one of the things that made him do well against everybody in a Temple at that time was that he was very good at crouch canceling and he threw out uh, like unexpected smash attacks that you know everybody wasn't super good at shielding and crouch canceling at that time like I was still trying to work in those concepts to people and like when to do them and everything so uh, because he like was really good at abusing those two things um, that's how he got like really good and if I put him in at that time uh, he's just gonna hold down against Peach and I don't know. And I'd never really seen him combo a uh, Peach at that time. He got really, really, really fucking good versus Peach at some point, but this was not not that point. I do suck. Thanks. Thanks for noticing. Um, and uh, the other person I had was Brog, and Brog had literally been playing for like two, three weeks at this point, and I was like, he, he can't, he can't do this. So, and he was only, like, he was only coming to my room to play my Fox and my Falco. So, I was like, you know what, Smokey? We gotta, we gotta bootstrap this. We gotta, we gotta fucking win. You, you, and me, we gotta do this. I mean, that's me talking to myself. You and me, dog, we got this. So, I, I send myself in. I'm like, I gotta win this whole crew battle. That was my, my mentality going in. So... <laughs> Thank God Dan got off this one stock. Uh, got him to one stock, though. Um, not that, like, Vin would have been a problem. Uh, Jin would have been a problem in many other contexts. But in a crew battle, Peach is kind of scary just because she, uh, she's such a trade-heavy character. So I was like, ooh, look at me resetting my controller. Taking the super serious, practicing actual text hill. Like, all right, well, I can't shield drop today, I guess, or something. Pain. When they were counting the three, two, ones, I started, I started hopping. I was so excited. I was just ready to go in. Try to space out back ears. At the time, I was like such a basic kind of thinker. I was like, all right, like if I could just space my aerials and stay out of his, like his way, kind of, I should be good. Like I was like I'm pretty aggressive, but like I stayed a very particular space. Yeah, this is from 2014. I just realized that too. Yeah, that was that was probably the thing that I was like the best at at that point in time. Like not like of everyone, but like of the things that I was I was decent at. I could do a shine and like wave dash up smash from like any any position. If I got the shine, I was gonna get the up smash. So this was also the easy days. This this drill. This this was not. If I if I tried this drill on Vincent right now, pff, fuck out of here. I think that was part of the reason I was so good at getting the China Smash. It was just like everybody made it so much easier by not really smash the eyeing drill yet. 
So it was like, if my if I throw out a shine right after drill, of course it's gonna hit. It's guaranteed. But little did I know, it, it is it's not guaranteed. Don't don't do this, kids. So take that one stack. And they send in tongs. Um, by far, this is my best matchup. Especially at this time. I, I, I'm fresh from coming from playing Smuckers all the time. Literally come to my house, you play for like eight hours. Um, so I was... This guy was this guy was done. No chance. And it's crazy, because Tongs is super good. Uh, towards the end of uh, like him staying in Philly, I realized that we lived really close to each other. So we started playing together. And it would like always be close. But at this point in time, nah, bro. See, shine up smash and also at this time um when i hit the the first shine up smash i would especially get against falcon i could always tech chase him into another up smash so it's like shine up smash and then i guess you guys don't see it but i got a second up, yeah i got a second up smash there which leads to a third So, that doesn't work anymore either. Um, after I do that up throw now, I usually, well not usually, um, I, I really base this on what level I think the Falcon is and how I see him playing. If you're playing a Falcon that seems like they're a 20 GX Falcon, I would suggest doing this. If you're playing a Falcon that's playing with the heart a lot and they're not, they don't seem like they're getting all their reads. Like they're, when a Falcon starts, when you're playing like a heart Falcon that gets all their reads, you're like, all right. Like, this guy knows what's up, so this might also, he might also uh, get out of this, but Whack Falcons, you can just kind of do the up smash anyway. So it's 0% when you grab Falcon, he can uh, tumble DI out and then jump backwards to get out. And to beat that, I will just, like, read a jump in up air. I can't believe I grabbed it. Yeah. See, I'm, I like, I don't know. Falcon, I could just react to it. Like always. Love smash. I was kind of expecting him to DI out. Because I, I thought he thought he was gonna die. Lucky there. You should have got the stock here. But yeah. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it, boys. Okay, so this is Nicholas 1024. Uh, at this time, I believed him to be UPenn's best player. Um, took me to FD. That's pretty scary, but I, I needed to win. Um, so I was like, all right, like I'm, I'm going to have to do this no matter what. Um, we'll see how that goes, I guess. But... Like, I haven't watched this a million times, but... I bet I'm like 50% of these. Yeah, that's the same situation as like with Peach, where I'll either read them going down, or I'll just like jump in back here. Um, I 
No, just an up throw F smash. <sighs> you know, like, he and I have had, like, countless arguments about that. I, I just think it's, like, a guaranteed thing. It's a DI mix up, and there's, like, like, sure, you can trick the Mart sometimes, but, like, I don't know. It's a, it's a mix up. He's like, nah, you should just always be doing, like, uh, I believe it's, like, like, you should always just DI as if they're going to tip for you. It's like, nah, I got to DI for other things, too. I'm I'm pretty sure my roommates are watching my stream right now. Oh no! What just happened? I didn't even know what happened. It was like three seconds. We'll take that though. I really wish I nared there because fifty is like the perfect percent to get a second nair on di away, or no, second nair on like di in or something, and then an up tilt on something else. Whatever you feel it out, but like it, it's definitely super apparent what you can get there after at fifty percent. Fair grab. I've so this this is still like one of my biggest flaws as a player. I will always just be like, all right, bitch, fucking fucking do it then, like. Like, are you going to be a fucking scared pussy? You going to fucking hit me? Or, or am I going to lit, like, and kill you right afterwards? Like, right here. This is a free ledge. Or even better, like, more so today, like, now that I'm, I'm a little wiser, just slightly. I'll go straight up like that. Like, that's, Marth has to super read that. Like, you actually... No matter what direction you go, like, and Marth has to, to make kind of a read. Like, if you, if you go down... If the down tilt, if they go there, I I always throw out paper because paper is just so raw or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like if, if this hits you, you die. Like that's it. So I I like to go for this and like really just call people out when. At this time, I should have gone for the ledge. Um. But, oh up I think is the way to go today's meta. And I'm gonna always, I'm gonna always regret that up B right there. I think of that as like the turning point of this entire fucking crew battle. Rob smash, whatever. Meh. Meh. Just fucking Rob smash. So now they send out Vincent. He takes me to FD. Oh, I didn't realize we even started yet, my B. <laughs> if only we had Penny. Oh. Yeah, I tried to just like read that he was gonna roll after that back air. Went a little too far. Bro, I, I super wanted to win. You see me using that gun? I didn't even know how to do that back then. I was like, man. Man, I got a double laser. Vincent was like the first peach to ever be doing that to me, by the way. Like the the wave, uh, the... 
air dodge out of up air. Like, he was getting out of my up airs for so long. And I was still fucking him up, and, like, it didn't super matter. But, uh, yeah, nah. We can all agree here that fuck Peach. I mean, my Peach is the dopest and cool and stuff, but, you know, fuck everybody else's Peach. Dude, I was super playing to win. I fucking. I'm pretty sure I, I'm I'm not 100 percent positive, but this might have been like the first time I ever did a shine grab in my life too. Like during this whole like crew battle, I was like. <sighs> nah, actually, nah. Never mind. I remember the first time I did a shine grab. Oh, there it is! Oh god, dude, that's fucking sick. I yo, actually, actually, that was some twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. I get pressured him to death. It doesn't matter. The shine grab was good enough. <laughs> he died from shine grab. You know, that should have been reward enough my whole life to always be doing shine grab. Uh, Billy. I wish I saw this. I didn't see this. I reacted. Like, I saw this, me hit that turnip right here. Like, like right here. Like, uh, I wish I caught that earlier. I might have lived. I heard everybody else going, <gasps> and that's when I started hitting up B. Rolling away from Peach. I was like, man, Peach can't reach me out here. <laughs> that up smash shouldn't have worked. I feel like Vincent shouldn't have been able to hold a shield. I don't think he was holding me up, buddy. Oh yes. Yeah, I was like, how did he how did he screw this up? He had that grab. And that's how he screwed it up. Spectacularly. <laughs> oh I mean we still lost. I just remembered. So sad. I was getting into this again. This happens every time. I start watching me, I get hyped. I'm like, oh <sighs> Look at look at look at the back getting nervous. Oh God damn it dude. Dude, the fucking dash dance. It's right when I started figuring out all this, like, dash dancing, like, kind of fucking stuff, too. I was putting it all together. You guys have no idea. I was playing out of my goddamn mind. I'm a, I'm a way low-level player. At this, at this point in time, I'm garbage. And, like, I was playing so well. Like, oh, oh I wanted to win so goddamn bad, dude. No. I'm not doing SWAT. I'm fucking not doing SWAT, dude. It's gonna hurt just as much, but for different reasons. You gotta start donating money to me, I'll do SWAT. <laughs>
Uh, the worst part about this, guys, I had no idea about him. I was super ready for everybody else on their goddamn crew battle. I was, like, mentally ready, and then they were like, oh, yeah, we, we got this other guy, uh, Rob Kim. I was like, yeah, Rob Kim, whatever. Look at him. Smash the eye out of my fucking Thunders combo. Oh, that was really good in there. I wanted the sickest angle there. I was trying to get... So my, my whole thing right there, I was trying to needle in the haystack this motherfucker so hard. I was like... Alright, he's going to throw out a down air here. I need to hit, like, land in between his down air and the stage. So at the very least, I can smash the eye left and then tech it. Like, I, I need to get out of here. And I just fucked it up. So now I was like, alright, I'm going to send out Billy. Like, Billy should be fine. Especially against another Falco. Well, not fine, but he, like, he should take some stocks. And then... I was like, you know... I had that trust in Brog at the time. Because... I I was... I was like, Brog was nothing. He was nothing. So I was like, you know, this... I created this from fucking nothing. So... I had, like, a lot of fucking faith there. I was like, if anything, Brog is gonna fucking clutch this out. Like, I, I know it. For fact. So, the wifey brought me meat chunks. Don't run away. Because. Thanks. Yo, Penny says hi. She says hey. All right, so they're playing. Yeah, see, like I, I, like, like I was saying you're here. Like at that time, he, he kind of just played like weird. Like you could see he was like really thinking while he was playing. Like he's trying to trick you and stuff. But like he, he, none of the the tech skill was like super there. Yeah, like, like, I mean, I'm, I'm saying all the things. <laughs> like, he was, I, I just thought he'd, like, you know, get a, a couple crouch cancel, like, F smash in. I, I'm actually surprised he chose Dreamland. Um, but... Yeah, I had so much trust in him. <laughs> so, uh, Andrew was super good. When I So when I'd be bodying everybody in the Temple game room and Andrew came around, I'd be like, let's fucking go. Let's go. If Andrew was here, no way we would have lost this crew battle. Oh my god, look at this guy moving around. How could I have seen this thing coming? <laughs> Billy Billy is fighting for his life here. He's just he's just throwing stuff out. <laughs> Hit him with the sick taunt. So this is this is further than I've watched before, by the way. I stop right when I get knocked out. <laughs> For the record. Oh man, that, that was rough.
Yeah, yeah, this is the Andrew from the game room. <laughs> That's not that fun. Yeah, Andrew from the game room is amazing, though. He's, like, super fucking good. He's a Fox Falco, and both of them are, like, real goddamn good. Like, There were days where, honest, honestly, I think Andrew from the game room was... Uh, was the the best, their second best player at uh, Temple? You know what I'm saying? Some day, some days, Andrew Andrew from the game room. You know, he's he's a legend. He's an emerald weapon. <laughs> oh man, I feel super bad. <laughs> I said some days, dude. You know that you're you're overall the the person I have the most faith in, but I think some days, some days Andrew from the game room also has it. You know, you and Andrew from the game room. Actually, all my all my temple children. You know, actually, you know, you guys you guys don't disappoint. Aside from aside from you know this, this is my fault. Look at look at the situation I put Brian in. Oh man, he's just. <laughs> He like never played really before. I don't think he'd ever entered a tournament. <laughs> Just used to playing me in my bedroom. Well, I would, I would, you know, I'd be playing Brian, and I'm watching like Steven Universe at the same time. I caught up to all of Steven Universe, Steven Universe at like episode fifty, playing with Brian. <laughs> I feel, I feel awful saying saying that in the past. That was so cringy. <laughs> the Samus is an infant, dude. You know, you know, how, like, uh, fucking Mango talks about having an infant with like all the tech skill and shit. It's like Alex nineteen, and like none of the brains. Brian was like the opposite. <laughs> He's like trying to L cancel his missiles right now. I didn't know he was trying to L cancel him. I didn't tell him not to. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fucking L cancel him. <sighs> he has like two. Oh, dude, there's so much. Oh, dude, he, he could. I don't know, man. Could Brian Samus today even handle this Rob Kim Falco? <laughs> oh. oh, man. He's just getting all the percent he can in there. That up air is literally just percent. Oh, my God. What does it? How does it happen? I don't even remember how it happens. How do they both end up off stage at the same time? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Does Rob just jump out there? What was... Was that it? Did it... Okay, the only thing... Down smash and down smash. Down smash, like... Oh my god. Down B. <sighs> Deep... Oh, no. Why did I teach him how to tell me, dude? I, I, never, I didn't know how to raise a Samus, dude. Out in New York, foxes, that's all we had. I know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. I'm so tight, dude. Uh, I mean, make, make, meat chunks make me feel better. Alright. Damn it, dude. I really wanted to win. Alright. <laughs> dude, I miss Old Temple, too. Alright. So, uh, next, I was asked to do Wasabi vs. Syrup.
So I don't know if Syrup's in here at all. I, I'm doubtful that he is. But uh, 